It was in Masoy in December. I met a woman there in her early 20s. Her name was Florence. Skin and bone, skin and bone. And she was lying on a grass mat on the floor. Next to her sat a little girl, just clinging to her mother's arm. And there was another girl that was about six years old. She was just lying there. There was no food whatsoever in that hut. I asked her if that was her only children. She said, no, she's still got a girl that's 12 years old. And that girl, I asked her where she was, and she said she went into the community to go and do anything to find food. But I knew I had to get Florence out of that shack because she was super vulnerable there. And so we started looking around, and we found the old house in the community. The roof was ripped apart, and there was a hole in one of the walls, but the owner said we could have it if we could fix it and pay him rent. I got the building team, and we fixed that house. Somebody even gave us a double bed. It was awesome. I will never forget the day when we got Florence and the three daughters moving into this house. It was fantastic. They were on our feeding list. Every day people would come and bath Florence and care for her. And that was just classic home-based care. But I wish that story ended there. During the winter that came, Florence became very sick. When the landowner heard that Florence became very sick, critically ill, he told her that they had to leave immediately because he didn't want somebody to die in his house. Florence was so weak that she could not walk. And her daughter that was 13 at that stage had put her mother on her back and she tied a blanket around her and she carried her mother on her back with the two little sisters holding on and she went around the community begging for people to take them in. Rose, the very same volunteer that took me there the first time, heard about that. And she found them eventually, it was about 9 o'clock at night, freezing cold, and she found a little mud hut where she could place them. Florence died that night in that mud hut. The dream of hands at work is to mobilize the church in Africa to mobilize people from outside Africa, to join and to take hands. People just with compassion. People that are just prepared to say, I don't accept that. Whatever skills I have, whatever I can do, I can prevent a Florence to die like that. That's a dream of hands. <laughs>